When collecting data on your mobile device, Catalyst provides visual feedback to staff members in the form of a red to green progress bar. For each targeted skill, the progress bar will display how close the staff member is to reaching the desired number of trials for that target. The value you select in the desired daily trials box will control how the thermometer or progress bar indicates progress. Set this value to the number of times this target should be run each day. This number does not affect student mastery, but rather provides performance feedback to staff members. Next, select your target type. Anecdotal, discrete trial teaching, duration, echoic, fluency rate, frequency, jump to, quantity, task analysis, or toileting. This is an important decision since the target type will affect the type of data that is collected and cannot be changed once chosen. So let's spend a few minutes defining each type of target. For targets denoted as anecdotal, instructors can enter free form textual responses or notes in an individual target instead of selecting prompt levels or tallying frequency counts. Data from anecdotal targets are displayed in tabular form. A discrete trial teaching target uses up to eight prompt codes to measure a student's response to a specific instruction. The default prompt codes in Catalyst are demonstration, gestural prompt, physical prompt, positional prompt, vocal prompt, and independent for correct responses. If a target is defined here as a DTT target, trials are performed in DTT lessons in which teaching trials can be set to automatically pull from all open DTT targets. By default, DTT data are graphed as percentage of correct or independent responding. Catalyst offers the ability to view your data in many different ways, including by prompt level. Duration targets are used to record a time interval for a specific behavior. When creating a duration target, users can specify the targeted time period. Data are then graphed by the average duration for the day, the total duration for the day, or the total number of duration trials collected. Echoic targets are designed for recording data on measurements of prosody. Users can rate characteristics of speech targets, including articulation, volume, speed, tone, and rhythm for any specific echoic sound word or phrase. You can rate student responses as a 0, 0.5, 1, or NA across each of these dimensions. You can also collect and store audio recordings of the student's echoic responses. Recordings are not stored on the device, but are synced to the portal along with your other session data. Data are graphed as an average rating per day for each of the measured dimensions. Fluency or rate targets allow users the ability to gather data that can be graphed as a rate. When collecting this target type, you will be asked to provide an amount of time for which users should take data on the behavior. From the device, the data collector will start the timer and tally responses that occur within that interval. Data are graphed as count per minute, per 15 minutes, per hour, total count, total duration, or average duration. A frequency target is used to record the frequency or number of times a specific behavior occurs. These targets are visible on the bottom of your device during all data collection sessions and will tally each response throughout the day until midnight when the data collection interval will be reset. Data are graphed as count per day or as a cumulative count. Targets defined as jump to allow instructors to access them at any time during DTT lessons or otherwise. 
This categorization should typically be used for targets on which you want to record prompt level data, but that don't need to be included automatically during a DTT lesson. Examples of jump to targets might include computer skills like using a mouse or paper and pencil skills such as worksheets or coloring sheets. Data are graphed in the same manner as DTT targets, percentage of correct responding or independent responding, and a detailed breakdown of trials by prompt type. When a target is specified as quantity, users can score numerical amounts for a target. This can be used to denote measures such as distance, how far a student rode on a bike, amount, the number of green beans eaten, or quiz or test scores. Data are graphed as a total quantity score per day, average score per day, or by number of trials conducted. A task analysis, or TA target, is a single target comprised of several ordered behaviors or steps. Data are collected on each individual step. You can customize your TA settings so that each step is either a pass-fail item or you can record the prompt level needed to elicit the correct response for each step. Catalyst provides you with the ability to graph performance by percentage of total steps performed correctly as well as percentage performed correctly by individual step. Toileting targets are used when implementing a toilet training program. Use this target to capture sit duration, type of void, accidents, and initiations in one convenient location in the app. Graphing options include frequency counts of accidents versus successful trips, accidents by type, voids by type, total sit duration, average sit duration, time of day for accidents and successes, percentage of sits initiated, and percentage of sits voided. The selection of target type is important because once a target is opened and data are collected, the type of target cannot be changed due to the fact that each type of target collects data in a specific and unique manner. The next decision you must make is how the target will be mastered. Catalyst offers two options, automatic mastery or manual mastery. Select automatic mastery if you want to define mastery criteria and have Catalyst automatically move targets from acquisition to maintenance or to close the target once it reaches mastery requirements. Select manual mastery if you want the target included on the active target list indefinitely until you manually master out the target in the actions menu on the portal. Please note, only discrete trial teaching, duration, and TA targets master automatically. If desired, you can also enter teaching notes for the target on this screen. These notes will be available for the instructor on the device during each teaching session on the same screen as the target information. Notes can include anything from details regarding materials to use during the trial, notes about reinforcement density or schedule, side preferences of the student, field size, or definitions for how to score responses. When you have finished making your selections, click Save and Close if there are no more targets within the selected program, or Save and Add Another to add additional targets within the selected program. Once created, targets can be deleted, renamed, or moved by right-clicking the target and selecting the desired action. For information on advanced target options, please refer to our video library or the Catalyst user guide. Once a target has been created, you will need to select Open Target on the program page in the portal in order for the target to show up on the device for data collection.